Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to work with the RIP feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. We'll start the game from the scratch and I'd like to create the RIP feature. You can see here that is not possible the create RIP features because you need to use the RIP feature for existing geometry. At the beginning, I will create the first extrude feature based on the sketch plane and in the sketch I will create a base shape and you can see that it will be really easy shape and if I will confirm OK I'd like to use the symmetric yeah, orientation for the extra feature okay I don't want to apply the dimensions or set the dimension for example for the quick example is okay right now I have created the first geometry and it's the possible to create two different kinds of the rib feature. I will start with profile rib. It's the most used of the rib or if you work with plastic parts you need to create trajectory rib. Okay, so let's start with profile rib. If you will, if you would like to create a profile rip, you need to select the sketch plane and the system allows to you to create open sketch. Don't close this sketch, that sketch has to be opened. So for example, my rip will be looks like here. You can see here the system automatically again create dimension for me. I can change it like you want and specify the new dimension and so on. So if you confirm OK. The system will create for you the first type of the rib and if I will specify the thickness for the rib you can drag the dragger or you can set the custom dimension for example 20 millimeters and then the system will create automatically symmetrical rib for you from the sketch plane but sometimes you need to specify that you would like to specify the on the other, another side, you, you don't want to use it symmetrically, so select the arrow here and the system will place the rib on the left side, right side or symmetrically. Yeah, so you can change it really quickly. Or you can specify on which size from the sketch you would like to create the rib, on the left or on the right or inside outside here. Yeah? So, for now, the system needs to attach to existing geometry. So if the arrow are placed inside, the system will create the rib for you. So it was example how to create profile rib on the extrude feature. Yeah. The second example, how to create a rib, profile rib, I would like to specify on the revolve that sketch so really quickly again I will create some geometry in the sketch and if I will finish the system will create for me the nice shape and right now, if you use the function create a profile rip, yeah, you can create directly sketch in the feature again, or opposite way to create a sketch first and then apply the function. So for example, I'd like to use it here. And if you would like to attach, it's no problem. You can use the coincident, for example, and the system will attach to existing geometry. Specify the dimension and finish OK. Yeah, for now I have created only sketch here and if you use the function profile rip, the system asks you where you would like to create it, outside or inside, and again you can specify the thickness. If the system attach the revolved feature, you can see here that the rip is followed by that surface. So it's really nice and really cool that you can really easily create a rib feature and then if you need it m more than one time for example you can create a copy and paste and specify that you would like to place it on the different side or you can use the pattern feature 
For this example, I will use the axis pattern. It means the system asks you select the axis and how many objects you would like to place there. For example, I'd like to place there seven ribs and the system can automatically count that 360 degree divided by seven is and the system will count this angle for you automatically. So if you finish, the system will create seven profile rape here. If you would like to edit, no problem. You can change it. For example, you would like to apply, for example, create the fire rape and you can regenerate. Okay. If you have created this rape, no problem, create a round feature. And for example, you can select the control button and use the full round. And again, you would like to use the reference pattern and the system will automatically create correct round feature on every rip. If you would like to create another round, select edge, specify the dimension. Again, you can use the automatically pattern feature and system will create nice shape for you. So it was a quick example how to use and work with the rip feature and for example how to use the pattern for this feature. The, in the second example I'd like to focus on the trajectory rip and again we would like to start from scratch. I can create again for example release a shape and for example it will be definite by rectangle yeah definite by dimensions and some shape okay in that example i like to create a shell yeah over here you know how to create a shell that is necessary to select the surface what you would like to remove yeah if you use the more than one surface the system will remove it Specify the thickness, for example, two millimeters and finish. In this box inside directly, I'd like to create the rip. So you can see here that is the possible to create trajectory rip. But I'd like to create the trajectory directly inside this box. So it's the possible to create the plane. And this is the sketch plane. And I like to move it a little bit and normal plane can be directly inside. So specify value, how you'd like to, and then confirm. If you select the trajectory rib right now, the system allows to you to create the directly, for example, one line. You can see here that I can attach to inside surfaces or you can directly only create the necessary line. If I will specify OK, the system will ask me whether I would like to create the rip. OK, I would like to create it directly inside. And you can see the system automatically attached to inside geometry and create a rip for me. What is necessary to do? Specify the thickness for the rip and then you can work with another function. Over here in placement tab you have created the section or in the shape you can see the thickness. If you would like to work with another features directly in the trajectory rip you can add the draft for example. Yeah, So the system will allow to you to draft, add the draft and specify the angles for the draft or add the rounds on internal edges and you can see here that with dynamic preview the system automatically add the internal radius again specify the radius confirm or you can add the top rounds here and again in the shape you can specify or dimension and directly see with dynamic preview how it works so in the sketch right now, I used only one line. If you would like to create more than one rip, it's not a problem. You can jump directly to the section 
and create the under the lines here. Yeah, it's meaning that you will specify the under the ribs. Again, you can in the sketch you can attach to existing geometry, but it's not necessary. You can confirm, and you can see here that system creates for you the correct shape. And again, you would like to add more than three ribs. Go to placement tab, edit, and add another lines, and you can create intersection line. The trajectory rib is the special feature that directly in the sketch you can use the intersection line. And final results looks like here. So you can see that it's possible to really quickly create the trajectory rip and you would like to edit, no problem. You can, for example, edit Edit first extra feature and system will show you dynamically new shape. And if you would like to modify externally the rounds, not problem, select the right mouse button and over there is the function externalize rounds and the system will ask you if you would like to do it and if you confirm the system will create for you trajectory rip without the rounds feature and external rounds here. So again, you can add, remove the references by sets and work with round features separately. I hope that you like my example how to work with RIP feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. Thank you and bye-bye. Vladimir.